Christianity is based on serving. And I want you to hear me that there is nothing that is more powerful than serving. Somebody says serving. serving. When you learn how to serve, God will teach you how to be saved. You must catch that very well. A lot of people think that beauty is in beauty. Beauty, the beauty of anything and everything is in saving. And the saving as God rewards, especially we as God's children. Now, I discovered that when we talk about saving, saving, you don't think about yourself. Saving, you think about the next person. So if you're going to be a good person in saving, you must not consider yourself to be part of it. Saving must be you making someone happy. I'm here to do what? To please God. Then after I've pleased God, God is going to return. And now come and consider my service to him and do something to me. So I don't determine what God must do to me. My job is to save him. And allow me in the next few minutes to declare to you the ten blessing of saving God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ten blessings that are in saving God. Somebody say blessings in saving God. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, eh, the Lord gives you purpose. When you serve God, God gives you purpose. The purpose for living. The purpose of your life does not come from you, it comes from God. And that I found in Jeremiah 29 and verse number 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 is a very common scripture. The Bible is very clear and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So who has a plan for your life? If God has a plan for your life, who tells you that if you serve him, he shall not unveil the plan he has for you? The challenge we have is that we are doing everything in our power to try to navigate through life and try to make ourselves who we want to be instead of becoming what God wants us to become. So when you serve God, God starts to reveal the plans and the purpose of your life. And the purpose of God starts to get established in your life. You are wondering, you are just serving God. And God is already preparing something in the background where you are going to go and get hired. You are serving in the house of God. God starts to give you an innovative mind. And a certain business starts to come into play. What you are doing, you are just serving God. And as you are serving God, the plans that God has for you the one you are serving they start to get revealed in your life and you become what god wants you to become but we live as if all our plans are with us we live as if we know where we are going a lot of you that are seated here you only know where you are now you don't know where you're gonna be tomorrow you don't even know if tomorrow you're gonna wake up it's by faith we are saying we're going to wake up. But you don't know what can happen in the next one minute from now. You don't know what will happen when you go through that door. What you know now is that you are in the service. But you don't know what will happen after service. And that's where now when you learn to serve God, God starts to reveal the purpose in your life. Somebody shout glory. So this life we have is of God, is from God, and is for God. Number two, as you serve God, ladies and gentlemen, the Lord shall give you direction. Somebody said direction. So the time you spend in the house of God, the time you spend in the presence of God, you, the talent and the gifting you give unto God, all that time you give unto the Lord, there is something you are doing in the realm of the spirit. Proverbs chapter number 3, verse 5 and 6, the Bible says, Listen, trust in the Lord, not with half of your heart, all thy heart. 
And lean not unto thine own understanding. Lean not unto your own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him. In all your ways acknowledge him or involve him. And he shall direct thy paths. It's him that shall direct your paths. How many of us today who are serving God and they are failing in life because they are not trusting in him. Neither are they leaning on God. We lean on our own understanding. What our emotions tells us, that's what we follow. But the Bible says in all thy ways acknowledge God, which means let God be the Lord over all your ways, which means the way you are walking, if it takes you away from God, you haven't acknowledged God in that way. So if you're in a relationship that takes you away from God, that way is wrong because it is not acknowledging God. If you have a friendship that takes you away from God, that way is wrong because it is not acknowledging God. And if God is not acknowledged, you can never be directed in all your ways. Then you get misled and you find yourself in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart. Makadosh kabuya baha. And lean not on your own understanding. We have our own way of understanding things. We have our own way of looking at things. We make conclusion in our own way. That's why even when it comes to human beings, ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you this thing for free. Even you who are single here, marriage is a mystery. Let me explain. Marriage is what? It's a mystery. It can never be judged on the figure or the chest or the height or the complexion. This thing is a mystery. Until it acknowledges God himself, most of this relationship fell. Are you here? So it's important for you to know that as you serve God, ladies and gentlemen, you put your trust in him. So when we serve God and we stick with God, ladies and gentlemen, God is going to reward us with the strength. Somebody says strength. Somebody says strength. Philippians chapter number 4 and verse number 13. God will give you strength when you serve him. Philippians 4, 13, yeah? I came to all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Which refers to a substance. Now, how many of you know in this place that Christ is not the son name of Jesus? Christ means the anointed. So I can do all things through the anointing which strengthens me. So when you serve God, there is an oil that comes upon you that gives an extra strength, ladies and gentlemen. Where people are failing, you start to sell through. Where people are failing to make it and they discover you are making it. Because why? There is the Christ which strengthens you. There is an oil. There is an anointing that comes upon you. And that anointing is like a force. That's why Paul says which. Because the substance, he comes to push you into dimensions you have never been. We can do the same business, but my business shall be ten times better than yours. You know why? There is a witch which strengthens me behind me. I'm not like you who is just operating from your intellectuality. 
Serving God will always bring a distinction. So you need to sit down and be, be settled in God. Because ladies and gentlemen, you are not serving God for any embarrassment. That's why Paul says, your labor in the Lord, they are not in vain. I came to prophesy on a hundred people today that the Lord shall give you strength to do what others are not doing. You shall receive power to do what the natural cannot do. Somebody shout glory. I can do not some of the things. I can do all things. If I go into business, I can do business. If I go into sport, I can do sport. Whatever I go into, I shall be able to do it. Whatever profession I am, I shall be able to do it. Because there is a witch, which is the anointing, which strengthens me. There is an oil that come only from heaven, that come upon me. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, what the doctors fail to do, because I'm saving a living God, uh, cancer get cancelled, uh, HIV get healed. Uh, you know why it does not come uh, because you went to Bible school, it comes uh, because you are serving uh, the living God. Uh, when you serve uh, the living God, uh, there is no witch uh, that can bring you down. Uh, you know why you can bring a witch down uh, because Paul says uh, there is a level of strength uh, which we receive uh, when we serve uh, the Almighty God. Uh, shout glory. <laughs> 